Hey, hey, how you doing? This is your boy, Nathan Salter, coming back to you again with another powerful singles nugget for all my single brothers and sisters out there. Listen, I wanted to do a quick video just to kind of encourage all my single people on how do you know that you are settling? Now, many people, when they talk about the word, you know, don't settle and all that stuff, we never got a clear understanding of what settling looks like. All right, because there's so many different ways you can settle when it comes down to a dating relationship and things like that. And for years in the past, I know I have settled. And one of the ways I know I've settled is because I realized that there's a few areas that need to be fit in, in order for you to realize, okay, this is a good fit for me. Now, definitely, you know, we know that attraction is huge. I mean, you got to be attracted to the person that you're looking to be in a relationship with. I don't believe in um, people who who's, who's not attracted to each other and then they're just falling in love with um, just saying, well, they just have a beautiful heart, whatever. Listen, I believe that the inside of a person is the real individual. However, you are human, you are in this body, and listen, you better get someone that you like to look at, all right? So that is one way you know that you're settling is if you're not even attracted to the individual. Um, I've heard so many stories of people say things like, you know, when I first started dating this person, I wasn't attracted to them. And then all of a sudden I just started liking them. Hey, that's fine. That can work. But I know from a guy perspective, I have not really spoke to too many men who have shared that. I've, it definitely came more through women who have said that. And I know a lot of women now, they like, listen, if I ain't attracted to them, I'm not even getting involved. So I just believe that when it comes down to a relationship that the two individuals have to be attracted. I just don't believe in overlooking that part because you're going to find yourself start looking in other places. All right. So that's definitely one area that we can settle in. Now, the other area is definitely um, the chemistry, um, just being the vibe of being around that individual. Um, I don't know about you, but have you ever been around somebody and they're a cool person, but you feel like, man, I, I can't be free to express and be myself. You feel like you're trying to change. You feel like you're trying to um, that you're you're walking on tippy toes. If you're if you feeling like that, that is not a good fit. That's how you know you're settling. All right, and so you need to have a chemistry with that individual. So one of the things for me that was so important is that I said first, you know, if I'm attracted to the individual, that is huge, definitely. But that chemistry is amazing because you know you after the attraction and all that stuff is over with. I mean, you need to like the person. I mean, that's just the real talk. There need to be you liking the individual. And a lot of people, um, they they talk about the word love. Yes, I believe that, you know, we have to be in love with each other. However, love is a commandment. Love is a choice. Love is something that we choose to do. So it's not a feeling. So since it's not a feeling, I need to make sure that when I'm not feeling like loving that person or I may not be in, the, in that, uh, since I have to choose to do that, I at least better like your personality. I better like some of the things about you just being around you because there's going to be moments where, hey, you guys may be bumping their heads, whatever. And if, if you don't like the person, you're going to find that it's so much harder to fight for that relationship if you don't even like them. So there have to be a chemistry on you just guys just liking each other's company, just being in each other's presence. That is very huge. Um, and that's something big for me. So if I'm, if I'm getting to know somebody, that's one of the things I'm really looking for. It's like, okay, how well I can just be myself around this individual and not have to feel like I have to walk on eggshells and all that stuff. That is really huge. All right. And let next thing is spiritual. All right. Now, there's a lot of people out there who have different beliefs. A lot of people say they believe in God. Uh, me, I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I mean, many of you may believe in other things. That's fine. But for me, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I don't have a problem, um, you know, acknowledging that. I don't have a problem proclaiming that. He has done everything for me. He is the God I serve. All right. Now, if I and the person is not on the same page as it relates to who we both serve as our God, there's going to be an issue. I'm settling. So if I'm talking to a young lady, let's say we're we're hitting all the nails. Um, let's say that we're we're our chemistry is good. Let's, let's say there's physical attraction and these things have happened to me in the past, but then spiritually we're, we're hitting, we're missing. That's huge. 
Why is that huge? Well, definitely for a person like me who is a uh, a preacher, who a minister, who go around and speak at different churches um, and be able to um, walk in my calling. It's huge because if I have a person that I'm married to who don't even believe in the God I serve, it's going to be very hard for me to worship and be free to do what I need to do. So uh, listen, if we're not on the same page spiritually, forget all this, um, you know, I'm going to hopefully, you know, ch convert this person over. Listen. Going from the jump, knowing, listen, if, are we on the same page when it comes to who we serve? I mean, like I said, for some of you who is in other religions, same thing with that. I mean, I mean, we shouldn't be going in trying to convert people. That that That's not the whole purpose of this thing. So this is how people settle. So they meet a person, they got some chemistry, some attraction. But then when it comes to spiritual, they don't even talk about that. It's like, okay, do you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. And then you leave it like that. But you really never ask the person, well, who is your God? And that is the thing you want to find out that there's definitely chemistry on that level. All right. So now another another area that you know that you're selling it is, you know, you got to have the money talk. Yeah, the money talk, the money talk. You got to see how this person view money. Now, a lot of people think that's that's foolish. I don't need to do that. But listen, I am telling you, money is one of the number one causes of divorce in relationships. And if we don't be on the same page as far as how we go spend our money, how we go save our money, you know, you may be a spender, she may be a saver or whatever. Listen, we got to be on the same page. Let's have these talks now. So while we're getting to know a person, these are the things to kind of let us know if we're going to be selling it or not, because there is people out there who do believe like you. I know you don't want to, you may not believe that, but there is some amazing single people out there that they have your same values. They're, you're attracted to them. They, you can have chemistry with them. They believe the same. They worship the same God you worship. They actually have a, a good mindset when it comes to money. It doesn't always have to be that the person the person that you meet got to be to the far extreme. You know, you have this whole big talk about opposites attract and all that stuff. Listen, I do believe that, but there should be some areas that we should be opposite. I'll give you an example. I am a man. She's a woman. I have certain genitals. She don't. That is opposite a track, okay? I don't need too many more opposites from that. I mean, she may be, I mean, I know some people may laugh at that, but hey, we should be connecting on a lot of areas. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be too many opposite attracts. I mean, people think that that's some, that's some cool thing. That No, you you and the person should have some type of chemistry. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be some areas that they're strong in that you may be weak in. That's another good area of opposites to attract. But this whole, they don't like nothing you like and you don't like nothing they like, you need to sit back and look and say, listen, am I settling? All right. Um, you need to talk about the sex. All right. This is these are just some of the things that you really got to have to talk, because I know a lot of people was like, well, you know, nah, we, you know, we just go. It's going to automatically work out. Listen, you better have that talk because that person may not have the type of mindset about sex after in marriage the way you're going to be thinking. All right. You may have your mind thinking one thing when I get married, it's going to be like this, 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 this. That other person is probably thinking, listen, we just going to lay in the bed every night. Um, at nine o'clock every night, we're going to have sex and he's always going to be on top. And, you know, that's how, and he, in his mind, he's seeing the kitchen, the bathroom, the basement, and you sit there talking about the bed and that's all I want. It's got to be talked about. So have those discussions about, okay, what is, these are my, these are my, um, expectations that I would like to go into when it comes to the sex part, because guess what? If you are the type that want to do all these wild things and you get this person who is like real, I just I just don't want to do nothing. I just want to lay in the bed. Listen, that's settling. I'm just I hate to say it because you don't want to wait until um, that moment comes to find out that I really settled. All right. Because that's what's going to make a person get up and go and start looking somewhere else. All right. All right. So now I gave you these few things because I know for me, these have been things I've been studying over the years. So as I've, as I've really contemplated the whole relationship thing, and definitely very soon I am going to be crossing that broom and I am so excited because I realized that I am not going to just settle and just be with anybody. So for me, it took a, it, it, it's a very special, um, thing that I was looking for. And, and I believe that God is going to definitely grant me that. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited that uh, selling is not an option for me. All right. So now one of the things that I want to really leave you with when it comes to this whole selling thing is that how I want to give you an analogy. Most people will say when I speak or when I do things and 
I'm always giving analogies. I, I am an analogist in all my seminars. When I preach anything I do, I like to give analogies because it's just the way that I understand things. So I want to leave you with something to kind of let you know what settling looks like so you can visually see it. All right. So I hope this really helped you. Um, many of you know me for the microphone analogy. I think I use it everywhere I've went all over the United States and Canada. Um, I've used that microphone analogy and so many people have said it, it makes sense to me now. So, but I kind of want to show you another way of settling. So what I did was I went into my kitchen and I brought me over some stuff to kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right. So now here I brought with me a couple of pots, a couple of pots. All right. Now I have pot number one. All right. This is um, another, a, a wonderful pot number one right here. And I got me the little lid. All right. So you got the pot and the lid. This is what settling looks like. All right. Now. You see how, let me see. All right, you see how this lid is, you see how this lid is over the pot? Yes, it can definitely get the job done. It can get the job done, but it's bigger than the pot. It was not made to fit this particular pot, all right? It can do the job but it's not made for this particular pot. I hope you get see where I'm going. So settling is you can get somebody who will hold your hand. You will get somebody who will tell you they love you. You will get somebody who will tell you, hey, I'll cook for you. However, you won't fit right. It won't be a good fit. That's how you know you're settling. The fit is, it, it's working, but it's not made to fit like that. All right, so that's pot number one. Then you, this is another way of selling. You got Big Mama here. <laughs> this is Big Mama pot. All right, so you got Big Mama pot here, and then you got you. So you got pot you. Now it's this pot right here. Yes, it can definitely, um, you know, they both have purpose. They both have uh, something that they can offer. However, when you put them together, it's just like, okay, this is not going together. All right. So uh, for the sisters out there, this may be you. You may got all these big dreams, big plans, big whatever. And then you get this guy. Hey, he got purpose, too. But guess what? When y'all two come together, it's just like something is not clicking right. All right. So that's how you know you're selling. So what we want to find is that right pot that when we put it on, it fit perfectly so this particular pot was made specifically for this particular top so this is what we call purpose connection all right so if i find someone and i already know what my value is she knows what her value is but guess what when we come together there will be a fit all right this is what chemistry looks like this is what compatibility looks like all right most people this is what they come in looking like all right they just come in okay you know she looked good you know oh he's a handsome dude let's make them work you know so the traction is there but when y'all come together there's a big gap somewhere and a lot of people go to the altar like this and they marry their big pot and guess what yes they got somebody however it's not that perfect fit so this is how this is what settling looks like this is settling. Yeah, both got value, but you just don't. It's not that fit. All right. This is what we are looking for as single people. We're looking for this harmony. All right. This is this is not settling. This is waiting for and this is not a perfect person. This is just a compatible person. All right. Because there's no perfect person out there. All right. So I just wanted to leave you that analogy. I hope that did help you. <laughs> my care was about to fall. Hope that did help you guys. But listen, don't settle. Please do not settle. All right, guys, you guys have been waiting too long. Please don't settle. There's somebody out there who is going to fit in your group. All right. Much love. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe below. And I am looking forward to posting some more videos to be able to help my single brothers and sisters out there. All right. Much love. God bless.